Hello, I'm Amy Mann and I work at the Centerville Regional Library. Today for Art at the Library, I'm going to show you how to do wire art, drawing in three dimensions. Enjoy. You may be familiar with Alexander Calder, the 20th century sculptor who created wonderful mobiles like this one in the National Gallery of Art in Washington, D.C. But did you know that he also loved to work with wire creating whimsical creations like this elephant and this self-portrait. He considered them drawing in three dimensions. It's fun and easy to do. You can do it yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Before making a wire sculpture, I usually start with a line drawing. I have in my mind to do a little dog that's sitting up and begging. So I just start drawing, and I think about the wire, and just doodle my way around the figure that I'm going to make. So let's look at our choices of wire. We've got this black aluminum craft wire. It's 18 gauge aluminum. Very soft and easy to bend. You could also use copper wire. This is 20 gauge. The higher the number, the thinner the wire is. You can buy these wires at the local craft store. They also come in different colors. You can even get just regular steel wire at the hardware store. You're also going to want some needle nose pliers. You can use this kind that come with their own wire cutter. Um, I've put tape over the serrated edges so it won't crimp your wire. It has a built-in wire cutter. If you have needle nose pliers without the wire cutter, you can just use these to cut the wire. And you can get a variety of pliers with different shapes at your local craft store. Now, using my drawing as a guide, I'm going to just start with one of the little dog's paws and work my way around the figure, following the lines I already drew, as I've got it all planned out already. So you can use your pliers for little tight curls like this, but usually the wire will be soft enough to just bend it with your fingers. So here's the little dog, all out of one piece of wire. Just took a little bit of planning ahead of time. But it's a lot of fun to try to figure this out and then make it work. You can do it as you go. There's nothing wrong with cutting the wire and attaching it. If you do do that, just make sure that where you attach it makes sense like at joints or places where a little extra bit of blobby wire looks good. But this is all one piece, so 
There's your little dog. Hope you want to try it and have fun.